Hi ranchers, today we're gonna go over how to properly heat your chicks. Heating plates, buy it, it's good, the end. <laughs> Heating plates. Buy it, it's good. Why? Because pretty much, um, I don't know what the exact temperature is on the top of my head, but pretty much, um, you know, it's what? It's basically 90, 90, 95 degrees roughly. Right. It, so it, it replicates the mother hen. So that's why the chicks go underneath it and they feel like it replicates the mother hen. Right. So, um, yeah, this is 22 watts, so less electricity than the 300 watts. Oh, right. Because that's 300 watts. And this bulb is 125 watts. Oh, so I'm sorry. Up to 300 watts is what that can take. Right, exactly. The, the, they're, they're stronger heating bulbs, and I can't imagine, like, at 125 watts, I get nervous putting that heat bulb on. Imagine at 300 watts, which is more than double. So the other cool thing that you have with this is these legs, they extend. So as they get older, you can pretty much move it. And boom, there you go. So when they're cold, they go under, put their cute little backies on there and heat it up. Um, another reason why I love this is because pretty much you're not fumbling around with the lamp. You just, you know, plug it in, throw it on them. And uh, what I like to do is I like to kind of throw a couple in there just to make sure that it's not squishing them. Because if you uh, are squishing them, pretty much you'll have flattened chicken nugget pancakes and we don't want that. And the, Unless you're ready for a barbecue. The other reason why I also like this too is because pretty much it's a concentrated, um, you know, it's concentrated heat so you don't have to uh, you know mess around with the stupid lamp to you know the closer it is the hotter it is You know farther away it is cooler it is and you don't have to have a thermometer in there Which we like to throw in a thermometer because we like to monitor that we're not cooking the birds So the other thing too is with this heating lamp if you do decide to go this route make sure that your the main focus point isn't where the water is because again like here mentioned earlier you want at least a good portion of the container to be out of the shade or shady and you want the water to be there too because you know when they're hot they're going to run to the water and you don't want warm water because if they're overheating and you know you drink hot tea whatever uh, that you know you saw the dust but uh yeah hot tea whatever you know body heat hot water it's a disaster. You're no question. You're gonna end up uh, losing your birds and game over. And that's actually a very good point because even though new uh, newly hatched chicks like to be warm at 90, 95 degrees, as we said earlier, the thing is though they could still overheat, and there are times when they do want that shadier spot. And if you look at nature, when the mother hen is taking care of the chicks. The chicks don't always stay under the mother hen. They stay under the mother hen long enough that their core body is warm enough. Then they go out and start looking for food and water and whatnot, and obviously that's not gonna be 90, 95 degrees. So we definitely wanna replicate nature, and either, either way, whether you prefer the heating plate or the lamp, you could still have a, a concentrated zone of heat and a concentrated zone of no heat. Keep that in mind. And again, why I love this one? Because pretty much you plop it in the container and this is your concentrated heat here. So if they're too hot, they're gonna run out. If they're too cold, they're gonna come in, heat themselves up. So I really, I really, you know, love this a lot. This is amazing. Um, and also too, I'm gonna, you know, ask you a question mm -hmm. that the viewers probably are thinking. So what happens if it's really hot outside or it's hot outside and it's hot inside, of, inside the house? Yeah, that's actually a great question. So a lot of people usually uh, say that if they have a sunroom or something like that, that they put their chicks in a sunroom. Well, depending on the weather, the sunroom can get very hot. So if you have your heat lamp, for example, and it, your brooder is in the sunroom and then that sunroom is also probably 90 degrees or maybe even warmer sometimes it can get to 110 on certain days 
then you might have a problem there because now you pretty much have a climate, an overall climate, where it's way too humid and it's way too hot and basically even if the chicks are not under the heating lamp or heating plate that they basically have no heat relief and they end up getting heat exhaustion just like a human could get heat exhaustion. So if you are going to use a sunroom just keep that in mind because you the, the bottom line is you want to keep them warm but you don't want them to have heat exhaustion to the point where they pass out and die. So to recap there are both pros and cons to the heating lamp and the heating plate. We prefer the heating plate just a little bit more. We will have the link in the description below or also pop right here on the uh, video so that basically you can get this product. The one that we showed today is 10 inches by 10 inches which typically does 25 standard size day old chicks. Obviously as they get bigger then uh, not as many can be underneath at the same time, but by the time they get big, bigger, they're going to have feathers that you're not going to see all 25 of them underneath that if that's how many you have. So thank you very much for those questions. As always, if you do have more questions, don't hesitate to contact us at ubersheekranch.com. Again, that's contact us at ubersheekranch.com. We'll definitely answer your questions and maybe even make a video out of it. So we do appreciate it. As always, make sure you like and hit that bell when you subscribe so that you don't miss any other frequently asked question videos or how-to videos that are along the way. As always, ranchers, we appreciate your support and just be a hero. But overall, it's all about paying attention to their leggies and wingies. <laughs> <laughs> Legs okay. and wings. Okay. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Son that might be good though, because you didn't mean to do it. I kind of like it. Okay, so should we just keep going then? Yeah, yeah why? Basically, I did the <laughs> joke. <laughs> oh, okay. <all> right. <laughs> it's because you kept saying it too, too much. Uh, <laughs> you kept saying it too much that got stuck in my head. <laughs> I mean, I guess this is this is good. Uh, if, I don't know. Maybe it's good. <laughs> because your but I'll have to cut like it. <laughs> <laughs> because I just, I did everything perfect except that. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, man. Man. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. So yeah. Oh. No one's gonna know why. Uh oh. Anyway, alright, okay. So, y'all, yeah, we'll just do this. Come on.